What's up guys, today we're going to be finally crafting arguably the best weapon in Destiny 2 right now, the Forbearance, the Ray GL that comes with Chain Reaction on it. I've already made a video going over the perks on this weapon, but the god roll is pretty straightforward, Ambitious in the left and Chain Reaction in the right. And that roll combined with Waveframe is arguably the best Ackler weapon in the game. And on top of that, it has the Soul Drinker trait, which will give you health back on reloading. So yeah, this thing is an absolute monster. And as you can see, my friend Ice can craft it. So we're gonna go and check out enhancing both of those perks to see how good it is. So the forbearance I would be crafting is first off a reload masterwork because I don't believe anything else is really worth it on a wave frame. And since we don't have a traditional reload perk, taking all the reload we can will help, which is why I'm also taking the quick launch to keep our reload as high as possible. Also giving us a little bit more handling and velocity. Then in the left column, you could run something like Genesis, but Ambitious will be the best. As you see, the text for Enhanced doesn't say anything different than the regular Ambitious. But if you look at the stats, the reload speed does go up by 4. So that is the only thing that seems to change. But we're going to go in and test it for science to see if it does increase the max size. Then in the right, we do have the Enhanced Chain Reaction, which does say it will increase the ammo reserves. So we're going to take that and see if that does anything at all. And this will cost us, let's see, how many materials? Roughly... 4,000 element, 2 alloys, and 70 of a few other materials. So does the Enhanced Ambitious Assassin do anything at all besides the plus 4 reload speed? Even if we kill like 20 throw at once, reload, it's still a 2 in the mag, which is the same as the normal perk. And it does not make it more efficient to proc the 2 in the mag because for a GL, you simply need 1 kill to make it a 2 mag anyways. So enhancing this perk does absolutely nothing besides the plus 4 reload speed. Without the Enhanced Train Reaction, we hold 22 base reserves. With double reserve perks on, it goes to 26. Now with Enhanced Train Reaction, which should improve the ammo reserves, it's still 22 with no reserve perks. Then with double reserves, it goes to 26. So uh, yeah, improves the ammo reserves by a whopping zero. So between the 4,000 element and the two alloys we use to enhance both perks, we got a whole whopping four reload speed, which I don't think is worth the trade-off. But the thing is with enhanced perks, Bungie's kind of damned if they do, damned if they don't. If they make them extremely strong, they would introduce pirate creep into the game and would make them a lot better than the non weapons in the game, which you could argue would make sense because of how much materials it costs to craft these enhanced perks. But at the same time, that wouldn't be good for the long-term health of the game. But right now, outside of enhanced auto-loading, which increases the auto-loading time by 0.2 seconds, which is enough to do the Iznagi combo, none of them seem worth it at all, and some of them literally don't do anything like pretty much both of these. So in my opinion, I would rather just not have enhanced perks in the game at all. Right now, it seems like their only point is just to be there to cost a lot of crafting material and to have a use for alloys. And if that is why they're there, I think Bungie needs to start introducing like in-game cosmetics to different things in the game so if they wanted something to cost a lot of crafting material and alloys just put in like an animated shader for the weapon or even ornaments and make them cost like you know 5,000 element you know multiple alloys and that'd be like the in-game crafting instead of enhanced perks that literally do nothing because I understand you can't make the enhanced perks like super good and make everything else useless but putting them in the game gives us like false promise that they will actually do something when you have to waste your material just to test and see that it does literally nothing. It just feels like a complete waste of time and materials. So yeah, I literally don't know what else to say about these enhanced perks. They just are completely pointless. And honestly, outside of enhanced auto-loading, I would not waste my material on any of them. And yeah, let me know what you think about crafting as a whole and what you think the solution is to this problem. I honestly think instead of enhanced perks, there should be cosmetics of some sort because at this point, the enhanced perks are literally cosmetics to just flex that you wasted material because they don't do anything. So instead, they should actually be real cosmetics that, you know, maybe have an animated shader or a unique shader or even an ornament. I think that'd be a little bit much for like the art team for every single weapon in the game. But some type of cosmetic would work, I think, better. Anyways, that's me it for the video. Like usual, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.